Hi and welcome to a new vlog. In this vlog, we will provide a full tour of the Viking Ocean cruise ships. We will give you a tour of some of the rooms. We'll talk through all the dining options and also show you all the amenities on the cruise ship. The Viking Ocean cruise ships all can accommodate up to 930 guests and we can't wait to share the whole ship with you. To start, here are some of the amenities that are located on the top deck of the cruise ship. All throughout this top deck of the Viking cruise ships, you will find plenty of seating and there's a variety of different types of seats. So if you're just looking to come outside and relax, you have a lot of different options. Also up here, you will find an outdoor pool and a hot tub. Uh, the best part of the pool is that it is an infinity style, so it looks right off of the end of the ship, which is really nice. And then also up here, there's a variety of different games. So there is a putting green if you'd like to go and kind of put on all the different holes. There is a bocce court, so if you like to play bocce, that's available. And then there also is a shuffleboard court. Also on this top deck, there is a very large roof. So it's a glass roof that's gonna look down below uh, one of the other main parts of the cruise ship seating areas. And this roof is retractable. So in the nice weather, they can pull it back. And then there is also another pool area. Unfortunately for our cruise, the pool is closed, but this is another option if you prefer to swim inside. One of the places that you will likely visit most frequently on the cruise ship is going to be the theater, which is located on deck two. Within the theater, this is going to be where you will meet prior to your ports of call. And in the mornings, they will serve coffee outside at the bar right outside of the theater. So before your ports of call, there's plenty of seating to kind of come in here, get ready. And then um, if you're taking a tour with Viking, they'll have you meet here and then leave the cruise ship from this place. Also prior to arriving to ports of call the night before, they will give talks in this room so or in this theater. Uh, the talks will cover uh, the variety of different tours that can be taken and also provide a little bit of history so we really enjoyed these port talks and would recommend attending them. Uh, if you do miss them they do also have recordings of them and then there are certain events that will take place so uh, for example one of the events we had on our cruise ship was a night at the opera and I'll show you a little clip from that next. <laughs> In addition to the talks and entertainment that's provided in the theater, there are lots of other ways to relax and enjoy the ship. One thing that you can do is borrow from the book exchange. So there are a variety of different books provided by Viking that you can borrow. You could take the books and just read them here in this area, or you're welcome to bring the books back to your room and just read them there and then return them prior to the end of your cruise. Uh, if you're looking to do trivia um, or just hear the piano playing, there is also the bar at the front of the ship. So here you'll see the piano, um, but we also attended trivia in this area. So it's a really nice place if you want to come and relax. There are also a variety of tables throughout the ship and some of them do have these digital screens which have things uh, from different card games. So if you want to play solitaire to this one where we had air hockey that we were able to play. So this is a fun, really unique option on the cruise ship to have. And probably our favorite thing was the puzzle table. So there's a table, um, it was almost always busy and there was a variety of different puzzles that you could work on throughout the cruise ship. And we really, really liked that. If you're looking to learn a little bit of history, there is a dedicated area that covers Viking heritage. So they have a bunch of different artifacts and plaques. So if you want to just walk through here and kind of enjoy it in your leisure, it's like a little mini museum that you can kind of enjoy on the ship as well. So that was really fun. And if you're looking to work out while on the cruise ship, there is a very large fitness center. So when you first walk into the fitness center, there's going to be some free weights. There's going to be a Pilates area in the middle. And then uh, towards the end here, you're going to have a variety of different treadmills. And then there are also uh, different exercise balls if you'd like to use those. The treadmills are really nice in that they look out over the water. So that's a nice view if you want while you uh, to enjoy while you're working out. And then at the end here, they do also have some other weight machines and ellipticals as well. 
If you're looking to relax while on the cruise ship, there is a spa directly next to the fitness center. So you can pre-book spa treatments or you can um, schedule them when you're on the ship. Uh, here is going to be the main spa space, which is free to all guests to use. There is a cold bucket shower that you can use if you want to take a nice refreshing um, splash of water over your head. There is plenty of seats around the main pool that you can go in and a little whirlpool spa type there. And then in addition to the seats here, there are also some heated seats in the back and directly next to them is going to be like a cold spa. So in here it has like ice and snow. So it's a very cold type of sauna spa area here. If you want to, again, to kind of go between the hot and the cold back here in the spa space. So this is all free and complimentary to guests on the Viking cruise ship. And then lastly, there's going to be a little rainforest type um, spa area where you can have like the different sprays to you. If you're waiting for a treatment, there's a separate area here um, right next to the locker room. So there's a little seating area there if you're waiting to get a facial or massage. And then directly next to it are going to be lockers. So if you want to use lockers uh, before going into the spa area, you can store some of your stuff there. Also in here, there will be a separate sauna and then also a separate little whirlpool here as well to use. So the lockers and sauna space are going to be separated by gender. If you're looking to get a massage, here's what one of the massage rooms looks like and also what it looks like for if you're gonna get a facial. And then lastly, if you're looking to get any salon treatments or a manicure or pedicure, they do also have this available on the cruise ship. So it's a perfect place if you wanna come and relax. When it comes to dining on the Viking cruise ship, there are a variety of different options, which we really appreciated. First up, this is going to be the chef's table. The chef's table is one of two dining locations where you do want a reservation ahead of time. Uh, so you can pre-book this when your window opens. If it is not available, you can always check for availability when you're on the cruise ship. The second one where you'll need a reservation is Manfredi's and it's going to be an Italian restaurant. So that's what that is here. And I do like that they have different styles between these two uh, sit down locations. Uh, with both of these reservation restaurants, um, we really enjoyed them and our favorite one was the Manfredi's Italian. Um, but these are definitely smaller spaces, so there are a limited number of seats. So we definitely recommend, again, that pre-booking. The restaurant is going to be a larger dining option. So if you want sit-down dining and the other two restaurants for sit-down dining are available, this still is going to be available for you. And here's just a look at some of the food we had at these sit-down dining locations. As I mentioned, the Manfredi's Italian was our favorite, and we especially liked the chicken parmesan. So if you are going, we would highly, highly recommend that. And then if you're looking for more a, a informal dining option, you're going to have the World Cafe. The World Cafe is a buffet style, so you can just show up anytime that it's open uh, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And the buffet selection will change throughout your cruise ship and it was really good. So my favorite thing, of course, is always going to be the dessert. So there was a ton of different dessert options. Um, there were options for if you had any type of food allergy, which I really appreciated. And my favorite thing in here was definitely the gelato. So even we would sometimes just pop in, grab a gelato, and then head out. So this was really nice to just have a convenient location where you could pop in, grab food, and head out. Uh, there is lots of seats inside. There is a bar in here as well. Or if you prefer to sit outside, you could also take your food and sit outside and kind of enjoy the weather there if you prefer that. And then uh, one thing that we really liked on the cruise ship was the afternoon tea. So in this winter garden area, uh, this is going to be on one of the top decks and in here for certain times during the day, you could come and they serve afternoon tea. I will say that the cruise ship was, uh, it felt very empty, but afternoon tea was popular. So if you're interested in doing the afternoon tea, we would definitely recommend showing up maybe like 15 minutes or so early just to make sure that you can grab a table for it. And then there are other food options throughout and one of them is going to be the pool deck. Uh, so up by where the main pool is, you're going to have a little um, small buffet style, and then you'll have the pool grill in the back, which is going to have more like burgers and hot dogs and sandwiches. So that's another kind of grab and go option. And then lastly, you're going to have Mamson's, which has um, some amazing waffles in the morning. So that was really good for waffles in the morning. 
if you're looking for just some like muffins or pastries there are um, some of those available in the bar area so you can always just walk up and ask for a muffin or a cookie and these are just going to be kind of grab and goes if you're looking for a drink there are some bars located right in um and throughout the cruise ship uh but this is going to be one of the main like bar lounge spaces they would have music here at night so if you're looking for more of a bar lounge type of atmosphere specifically uh then i would recommend coming over here take in some of the live music and then uh, lastly, you're going to have at the front of the ship, the Explorer's Lounge. So the Explorer's Lounge is going to have a really nice kind of relaxing space. There is a bar here. So if you want to just grab a drink and kind of relax, has beautiful views outside of the ship. And then as I mentioned earlier, a lot of the um, entertainment, so like trivia and stuff will also happen here. Here is a tour of the Explorer Suite on the Viking Ocean cruise ship. When you first walk in, you're going to have this living room space, and on your left side is going to be a desk, which includes also your mini fridge. With the Explorer Suite, everything in the mini fridge is included with your stay, and I will give you a closer look at all of that here in just a second. And then uh, in addition to the desk and mini fridge, you're going to have a small dining room table with plenty of seats. There's an amazing balcony I'll show you here in just a second. And then a TV with plenty of seats around that if you want to sit out here and relax and watch TV. Here's that closer look at the mini fridge. So it does include some hard alcohol. There was vodka and gin. Uh, the sodas were included. And then you also have a beer that is provided as well. And again, this will be replenished as often as you like and is included with this level suite. There is coffee that is provided. So you have the coffee maker there. And then they also give you the headsets with a charger. So if you're doing any of the Viking included um, tours, then you have those headsets that you'll need to use there as well. And here is just a look at some of the outlets that also are available in this suite. So if you're looking to just charge certain things throughout your trip, those are what it's provided. There is also, of course, the bedroom. So the second main room is going to be this bedroom space. And in the master bedroom, you have the bed with a TV and then also another door out to that balcony space. And then there is a very large walk-in closet. So this closet was amazing. There was plenty of space to be able to store and hang everything for our trip. In addition in here, you have robes, which are complimentary for you to use throughout your cruise. So that was really nice. And then also there is a small makeup mirror and space in the closet if you would like to use it to get ready in the morning. Uh, that was really nice to have in here as well. And then moving into the bedroom, or excuse me, the bathroom space directly off of the bedroom, you have two sinks, there is a heated towel rack, the floor is heated, and there is a very large bathroom area where you have the shower and tub combination. My favorite part in here is going to be the window. So when you lift the blind up right next to the tub, you have an amazing view out of the ocean. And then that's going to be your balcony also that you can see kind of outside there. If you don't want to look at the ocean, you prefer the TV. There also is a TV here in the bathtub. So that again was also amazing. And then when it comes to the different products that are provided, uh, we really enjoyed the different shampoos and body wash that were provided on the cruise ship. The best part about the Explorer Suite is going to be the balcony. So we were in the aft part of the ship, and so with our balcony, it wrapped all the way around the side. So you had a table with four chairs, uh, you had a beautiful view off the back of the ship, and then there were these two lounging chairs which were extremely comfortable, so that was really nice. And then the balcony is just massive, so it goes and wraps around all the way to the side, and then this is going to be the side of it that you could see through the bathroom, and it has that bed to relax in, so that was absolutely awesome. If you want any laundry done while on your cruise ship, the laundry service is complimentary, so they'll just do your laundry and deliver it back to your room for you. And then you also have room service that could be delivered. So here's a look at the afternoon evening room service menu. We really enjoyed uh, getting room service just in the morning. So you could put in an order and then put it on your door and have it ready and delivered to you at whatever time you prefer in the morning. So this was also really nice. And then lastly, you were provided a complimentary bottle of champagne when you got on the ship with this level room. If you're looking at the deluxe veranda stateroom, so here is a quick tour of that. Uh, this is an overview of the bedroom space. You have the bed and directly across from it is going to be the TV. And then there is a small balcony here so you can sit outside and take in all the views. Going back into the bedroom space, you're going to have two chairs, a small coffee table, and then there is a desk in here. And then in the desk is going to be where the mini fridge pulls out from. 
And then if we just go back looking to kind of the overall space, here is a view where you have the bed and then uh, the closet is gonna be directly next to the bed. And then lastly, as you move down the hallway here on your left is going to be the bathroom. In here, you'll have a single sink, uh, the toilet, and then there is also a shower. So it's all really nice. Overall, we had an amazing time on the Viking Ocean cruise ship. We really enjoyed all of the details that they put in all of the different spaces. Everything was extremely clean and pristine, which we really appreciated. And there was always a lot of space uh, where you could go find a quiet place to relax or sit. So we really appreciated all of the different areas throughout the cruise ship. When it came to the service, all of the people that were working on the cruise ship were incredibly friendly, incredibly helpful, um, and really just made our stay that much more enjoyable. Uh, but overall, honestly, we would highly, highly recommend this cruise ship if you are looking at a Viking cruise. Uh, the food, the service, and all of the atmospheres and decorations were absolutely amazing. We had a wonderful time and we hope to be sailing on a Viking ocean cruise again sometime soon. Thank you so much for following along with us and we can't wait to bring you on our next adventure.